We're hopping in the time machine. Won't you come along on the dream it's free? Here's the golden record from WTIX 690. Da-da. Actually, going to high school, I wanted to be a medical doctor. And I was listening to the radio, listening to WTIX in the summer of 1959 and said, that's what I want to do. I want to be a disc jockey. So I called the guy. He said, uh, make a lot of tapes, practice, read the newspaper. Started doing that. And in 1960, got a job at a little radio station in White Castle, Louisiana. Big old White Castle. I remember my first day on the air. I said, it's 90 degrees in downtown White Castle. And the general manager walked in. He said, son, there is no downtown White Castle. So I went from White Castle to uh, Bogalusa to Lake Charles to Charleston, South Carolina, to uh, Jacksonville, Florida. And while I was in Jacksonville, there was a radio station in New Orleans that was looking for a morning man. It was WNNR. And uh, I sent a tape to a guy I did not know then by the name of Ed Munez. He heard the tape, he called me, and he said, we want you to come work for us. So uh, my family and I moved back to New Orleans, which was my goal from the very, very beginning to uh, you know, work in my hometown, and so Ed hired me, and I started doing mornings at WNNR in 1965. This is WTIX New Orleans. When I went to Tix, it was like I made the big time, and I started at Tix uh, just doing weekends. I did uh, weekend jocks and news, and then uh, an afternoon shift opened up, and I moved into the afternoons. Uh, I worked afternoons for about a year and a half. The morning man went on vacation. I filled in for him. And the PD came to me and said, guess what, that's where you're staying. And I think that was 1969. And I've been doing mornings since 1969. Well, I was program director at WTIX. And it was like uh, the chief nut heading the asylum. And I did work with some crazy people. You know, Bob Walker, uh, Todd Bauer, uh, Nick Bazoo. They were just they were just insane individuals, you know. We uh, we did everything we could to beat the competition, and they were always pulling practical jokes. Uh, I came to work one morning, and uh, all of the fire extinguishers were empty, and there was white dust all over the control room. Naturally, no one did it. No one no one knew anything about it. They never admitted to anything. Just like your children today, they never admit to anything. Todd and I were doing the morning show together. He was my newsman. We just finished, and this lovely young lady walks in, very scantily dressed, and she's bringing a bag with her of hot chocolate. She goes into the newsroom. By now, I'm off the air, and I'm talking to Todd about what we had done that morning. And she opens up the bag of hot chocolate, and she holds up two cups, and she says, you guys have a choice. You can have these cups of hot chocolate, and she puts them down and takes her dress and lifts it up and says, you can have me. <laughs> uh, we both ran. <laughs> uh, but we, we, we selected the hot chocolate, honestly. We really did. I was getting ready to go on the air one night, and Buzz Bennett, the disc jockey who worked before me, said, come in up next, it's Robert Mitchell. Now, prior to that, I'd used Bob Mitchell, but when I got to the radio station, there was another disc jockey with the name of Bob. They did not want two Bobs on the air, so they asked me to change my name to Robert. And he said, come in up next, it's Robert Mitchell, the real Robert Mitchell. Well, the program director liked it. He said, keep using that, because then people start calling in saying, hey, somebody trying to steal your name? Is there another Robert Mitchell in town? What's going on here? And it became such a gimmick, they stayed with it. And even, even today, when I uh, do a remote broadcast, people say, Robert Mitchell, the real Robert Mitchell. So I can never get away from that. <laughs> Working on Cool is great, because I'm playing uh, the music I played when I was on WTIX, and of course now, some of the music I was on Light 105, uh, because Cool is not just an oldie station. But doing the morning show now, uh, it's very much like I was doing the morning show in the heyday of WTIX. One of the things I'd like everyone to know is Ed promised me that ever, if ever I made it into the New Orleans Hall of Fame, he would give me a big cash bonus. So let's have a big hand for Ed Munez and that big cash bonus I'm going to get.